Okay, this is going to be a quick video on how to properly update your Exert data fields on your Garmin. So here we have an iPhone and we're going to launch the Garmin Connect Mobile. You'll need to have that running. Uh, obviously, you'll run the same app on your Android if you're using Android. And you want to have your Garmin started and you want to see the, uh, the Bluetooth symbol solid. Um, and you either that or see the phone connected um, little notification show up on your screen. That's in, that will show that the, that the Garmin is connected to your Garmin Connect Mobile. You can also tell when you tap on this icon at the top of your screen, you can see that the Edge 820 here is connected. So we know that we're, we're, we're now connected. We, we can now start the up, update process. So let's go ahead and tap Activities and App Management and tap our data fields. And you can see here that we have uh, a number that have been installed. Uh, some are currently using the latest version and some need updates available. So we've just updated to version 3.3 uh, as, as, as of this time and we're going to update the existing data, uh, data fields to version 3.3. So let's go ahead and update the XSS and XCP data field. So we're going to tap on that and we're going to click on update. But I'm going to make note here what you're going to see. If I click on update, In a few seconds here, you'll see download complete on the Garmin. And that's indicative that the app has been downloaded. There you have it. And now a few seconds later, this screen will return back uh, on the Garmin Connect Mobile. And you would have thought, you would think that the app is, has been updated, but in fact it hasn't. Now the reason it hasn't been updated is because it is currently in use on the train activity profile. So here I have train selected, and since the XCP, if I start the activity here, okay, you can see that I have XSS and XP, XCP there as a data field, okay? So since it's already there, it's, the app uh, won't be able to update it. So in order to update the app, let me just go ahead and stop this and discard this activity. So in order for this to properly update, we should switch the activity profile to one that doesn't use the XSS and XCP field. So let's go ahead and tap, go to race. And if I go to race, you'll see here, again, we'll just quickly show you. You may wanna do this too, just verify that the, uh, that the particular data field isn't, use on, uh, isn't in use on that activity profile. So we can sort of scroll through here quickly and say, okay, great, it's not in use. So let's go ahead and discard that. Now that we know it's not in use. Of course, the other way to do this, of course, is just by tapping. And you can do it that way as well, okay? Um, and so, let's go back to our home screen. Um, and so, we're now in race. We know the, the, the data field isn't used on that activity profile. Let's go ahead and update it. So, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna click on update. And then we're gonna go through this process again. Now in this case, it should be it should successfully update the app because it's not currently being used by the race activity profile. And so after this point, we when we go back to the train profile, which is where we're using it, it should show up on our screen. So let's, again, we see the download complete. Let's wait a minute here for this to return back. And there you have it. You can see now that it's moved from update available to installed. And once it's installed, that means it's now available on the Garmin. So let's go back to train, and then let's go ahead and start train. And then you'll notice here, oh, as I slide through, one thing we missed here, there it is, version 3.3. You probably caught that real quickly. All the new data fields will indicate which version they are running. So we've updated them all to version 3.3 at this time. So you should see that show up on screen. And so in this case, you'll get the update that will occur. Uh, it can take up to five minutes, of course, before you'll see the little green light appear indicating that the fields have been updated. But at least you know you're on the correct version uh, and with all the, all the new updates that we've made. The mo most notable change to this update is some of these informational things like showing you your signature when it's updated. The other things that we're showing, uh, we're doing is 
that all the uh, information persists. So if you happen to pause at a coffee stop, you're, they're not going to reset to zero afterwards. They should all continue to maintain their value even after a long coffee stop. So that's the big, the, sort of the, the major change with, that we've added to the, uh, to the data fields. But that's the procedure for updating them. Of course, always make sure that you have the correct username and password on your, uh, your settings. So always make sure that you have the correct username and password. If they're not there, obviously the app won't update with the correct signature. Uh, other than that, that's the simple procedure for getting them updated. Uh, an alternative you can do rather than switching activity profiles is simply to reboot the Garmin. So if you reboot the Garmin, it should pick up the latest change and you'll verify that change once you see the version number show up on screen. All right, thanks so much.